People living near San Jose, Japantown, no longer have to hear blaring train horns in the wee hours. The city unveiled its new partial quiet zone along Union Pacific Railroad crossings from Diridon Station to North San Jose. KPX 5's Wilson Walker has more on how some residents now hope they can get a good night's rest. This freight corridor has been here for a long time, but it wasn't until the last three or four years that Union Pacific started using it at night. Neighbors immediately asked for a solution, and now they have a partial one. Uh, I mean, I grew up here, so I've gotten used to it. That's why I didn't pay attention to it too much anymore until we got a dog. <laughs> for everyone living close to, or in some cases, right up against these tracks, the last few years have brought nights punctuated by this. But relief has finally arrived at least between the hours of 10 and 7. He howls every time the train comes, so that has been a lot nicer, and we definitely get better sleep. I think it's particularly important as we see a lot more housing coming into this area, right? Those horn blasts are required by federal safety guidelines, so getting this so-called partial quiet zone really did take help from Congress. It's not an easy process. It's a lot of coordination with many entities, local, state, county, federal. Losing the horns at night did require making other safety changes to about a dozen intersections. And what you see here is just the temporary work. We're also working with them on a permanent build out of this that changes where all the signaling infrastructure goes, those ramps, those flashers, et cetera, so that this intersection is restored to more full functionality, better pedestrian experience, et cetera. I didn't hear about it. I just seen that um, they put up the signs. For those who did not hear the changes coming, it has been a pleasant surprise. At first, it seemed odd to me. Really? Mm-hmm. But it, in a good way, in a good way, yeah. Now, San Jose would like to go to a full quiet zone, no horns 24 7, but that would take a lot of time and a lot of money. This effort alone is probably going to cost about $12 million. We're here in San Jose, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.